Hey, Rose, what do you say? What do you know? It's the Keeper coming at you. Hey, well, you know, name of the channel is Keeper's Music Channel and the Life. All right. <clears throat> and let's talk about life. All right. Um, well, you know, in about a couple weeks, I'm going to be 67 years old. And I have to say, this is not the world I grew up in. And it's just totally insane. It's like, it's crazy. Um, I, I just don't, I just don't understand how, how insane it is. You know, like, uh, I used to trust the government. I used to have faith in our government agencies and, but now I, I, I see how full of shit everything is. And it never, never used to be this way. I mean, it, like every, the government's supposed to work for us. All right. But somehow, it just got all turned around and got evil. Now, the, the first thing I want to say, I'm a Christian. And I believe in God, and I believe in every word that's in the Bible. If you try to tell me, oh, this, this is not right, that, no, they didn't mean that. Everything that's in the Bible was written for a reason. And what's scary What's very scary is what's in the Bible is now, it's all coming true. And uh, time is short. You know, I mean, how can I explain this? Um, like, okay, the, big, the biggest thing that bothers me is all this trans and this gay stuff and uh, LBGQ or whatever all that stuff means. I, 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 I mean, for one, if you're gay, trans, or whatever, because I, I really don't understand that. God created a man and a woman, all right? In the beginning, God created the earth. He created, he made water. He created all the creepy things. He created fish in the sea. He created all this. He created a man. He seen that man was lonely. He caught, he, he, he put Adam the first man, into a deep sleep. He removed one of his ribs, and from that rib, he made a woman. God made a man and a woman. All right, now, if you claim to be something else, then you're, you're basically going against God. All right, now, personally, if you're gay or whatever, I don't care. I have no hatred towards you or whatever, all right? But what bugs me is when you try to force your morality upon me, I will not accept it, all right? That's the way I am because I follow the word of God. Here's the thing. Everybody's born into the world, and you, you, you're born with free will, all right? God gives you free will, all right? And... You can accept Jesus or not, all right? You, if you choose choose not, then you don't, all right? Um, but the thing is, is, if you do, all right, if you do accept Jesus, then you have everlasting life, all right? Because life on earth is very short, all right? But the eternity with the Lord is forever, all right? But the only th way you're going to get there is through Jesus, all right? And, and, and the key thing, and it's not rocket science to be a follower of Christ. All you got to do is believe that Christ came, he was crucified, he rose again in three days. And the reason why he was crucified, because when, when Jesus put himself on the cross, he took upon him. Every sin that was committed, every sin that will be committed upon him and forgives you, all right? God says that um, I will cast your sins into the sea of forgetfulness, which is as wide as east is west. That's pretty damn wide, all right? And, uh, but, but the thing is, is like, you know, people want... 
to be gay and all that stuff. That's that's fine with, with them. I have no problem with that. But if you expect me to, you know, say okay for you, then you have to respect my opinion. And that's what's problem with the world. I, I'm having a problem saying all this because it's just, you know, it's just hard to come out with all this stuff because um, you can't tell the truth anymore. And and the reason why is if you say, that, now the gays, they say people need to be more tolerant. But they're not tolerant with other people. Because if you say something they don't like, instantly you become a Nazi or whatever. And I, I think what you should do is go back into history and find out what a real Nazi is. All right? Um... But the thing is, is it, when you become a follower of Christ, the thing is, you have to repent of your sins. All right? And that's part of being what a Christian is. So if you're going around cheating people, or if you're going around stealing, or if you're committing adultery, or if you're doing this or you're doing that, once you accept Christ, you have to stop doing those things that aren't acceptable to the Lord. You have to repent. All right, but here's the problem that people who claim they're Christian but they're gay, well, you're living in a sinful lifestyle. And you're still living in a sinful lifestyle. You have not repented. So how can your walk with Christ be valid? You're, you, you're not repenting. You know what I mean? So I mean, you could argue with this or whatever, but you can't argue with the Bible. Um, in Leviticus, the book of Leviticus, um, which was written by Moses, the lawgiver, all right, he says homosexuality is detestable before the Lord. I think it's Le Leviticus 5. I know the Bible and stuff, but I have a problem. I've never been real good with remembering things, dates and stuff like that. And uh, but it's in there, and if you challenge me, I I have it. I have it saved in my computer. I'll give you exact location, and I don't have my computer on, but I could turn it on. Matter of fact, I'll put it on right now, and uh, when it comes up, I'll show you all. But but the thing is, is everything has gotten out of hand, like. Um, like they try to kill Trump, all right. The, the, the trouble with the Democrats, all right, is they think everybody's so stupid. Where you know you can do this and you can do that, and people aren't going to know. Well, I know, and and one of the things that when you become a Christian, you you get different things from God. Yeah, everybody gets different gifts and stuff like that. Well, music is given to me. That, is, that I've always had that, but that was given to me by God. And uh, I mean, to be be six years old and play keyboards, that didn't come from me. Who showed me how? I just played. My my brother had had this very Hammond B three in the living room. My parents were out. My brother Dawn was watching me. The phone rings. Dawn gets up off the organ he was playing answers the phone, I walk up to the organ at six years old and play Alley Cat. Where'd it come from? It certainly didn't come from me. It came from upstairs, you know. But, you know, everything's gotten so crazy. Uh, moral, uh, there's no morals left. Um, people say the most vile and toxic things and it's like it's totally out of hand. Uh, I'm just completely blown away from it. And and, and uh, you know, like when when I see like Hillary Clinton or Pelosi or Carmela or um, those people, I don't hardly know who they are because the minute I see them, I have to turn it off because they're so evil. It's my I can feel it in my soul how evil they are, and I don't want to even look at look at them because it's just they're filled with demons and who wants to look at evil who wants to look at demons i don't you know you might be saying oh the key's out there he's whacked he's crazy i'm not 
I'm really not. I may be crazy about other things, you know, maybe uh, crazy about having a mini spatula and stuff like that. To me, stuff like that is funny, you know what I mean? But when it comes down to insights from God, those come from God. And, and uh, I know evil when I see it. And that's why I don't watch any of the news. And I get all my information from pastors and um, people who, who uh, study the Bible and know more than I do. And, and through discernment, I know whether they're, they're feeding me pipicaca or the truth. And that's the problem with life. It's just there's no more truth. Everything is like, and even if you try to tell the truth, um, I mean, who in their right mind could possibly think Biden was a good president? He's done... He's actually destroy, he's destroyed this country. I mean, and, it, and this is the stuff that bothers me, all right? We have so many problems in this country, all right? Um, the immigrants. Why would you want immigrants in this country that don't speak English and that offer nothing, all right? You know, if you want to come in this country, you should probably at least have some type of education. I mean, we make it easy for them. We give them handouts. But a person who was born and raised in this country and they have a hard time, they can't get anything. You know, we got, uh, and, and it's despicable what we do to our war veterans. That's, it's outrageous. But um, the government has just totally, no wonder, no wonder people hate us. Because the CIA, they go in and they do all this crazy stuff and where we shouldn't even be there. You know, it should be live and let live. And, and basically, and, and, and all this concern about communism and, and which that's why we had the Cold War and all this other stuff. But now the Democrats are, are turning towards communism. I mean, it's just like it's... it's I, I can't explain it. It's just totally insane. And uh, um, I'm communicating with y'all. I'm having a talk. Uh, I'd love to hear your comments. You may think I'm whacked or whatever, but I do know right from wrong. And I know what God loves and what God hates. And uh, and a lot of this stuff, man, I'm telling you, it's, it's crazy. Um, you're not going to see me very long. If you don't believe... Uh, one day, and it's not long, one day, you're going to find a lot of people are missing. Where did they go? Well, in a blink of an eye, we were in the clouds with the Lord. But that day is coming, and it's coming fast. Um, there's going to be, be a lot of telltale signs. Uh, look for the uh, the city of Damascus to be wiped out. It's going to be wiped out so bad, not a single living thing will ever be able to live there again. Um, watch out for um, a bunch of countries getting ready to attack Israel. All right, uh, that, that's written in the Bible. It's called the Gog Magog War. All right, and that's when Russia, Turkey, Iran, Iraq. Uh, Syria, they're all going to gang up on Israel and they're going to attack Israel. But they're going to lose. Mir miraculously, they're going to lose. And that's the one battle God steps in and says no. And But that's coming. All right? And I believe that I believe that's when the rapture takes place. That's The rapture is when um, people will be taken away. And those who didn't accept Christ will be left behind. And I believe that at that time, that's probably when the rapture will take place. But uh, the world's crazy. And, and the biggest thing I'm, I'm talking to you all about, truth. Um, don't be afraid to tell the truth. I, I think the, that's why the world has got, gotten so crazy. Because you know, when, uh, when people start manipulating the truth and all this other stuff, people just like, uh, a lot of normal people just look at them and go, these people are nuts. And what can you say to a crazy person? Nothing. No matter what you say, they're not going to listen to you. So what you do, you can't keep quiet. 
and did it. so ba but it basically what you end up doing accepting it all right but remember acceptance a silence is acceptance all right I will never accept the way people want this world to be because what they want is they want evil if you can kind of pure peel back our current reality and look beyond that like peel beyond the veil and just look beyond that you'll see demons everywhere I mean you know, this, is, this is Satan's time and it's in the Bible this is Satan's time and God says during this time I will cast down the spirit of delusion upon people so it, you know it's out there you, uh, there's the truth you can accept Jesus. You can you you can accept what is right, but if you don't and you refuse to believe anything about the Bible, then God will just cast that delusion upon you, and that's that's what we have. Um, in Timothy, he says, during this time, what is good will be considered evil, and what is evil will be considered good. What is bitter will be considered sweet. What is sweet will be considered... And that's where we're at. If you read Timothy, um, he tells you exactly the way people will be during this time. And it's, it's crazy. Um, I'm going to try to pull this up for y'all. Usually when I try to do this, my computer will be retarded. But... Um, we'll see, because I have this stuff set, saved, and, uh, but this is crazy, you know, and, uh, now you can either, you can either agree with me or not and think I'm crazy, um, A, you don't have to watch and you don't have to listen to this particular video, alright, um, my channel's always been about music, but, you know what, life has gotten so crazy, and I consider you guys my friends, you know, because I read a lot of the comments and a lot of you are Christian like me. And, uh, but, uh, let's see if I can find this. Um, I got so many icons on my computer and, uh, I'm looking for folders, his Bible. And, uh, will he find it? Will he find it? And, uh, you know what, while I'm looking at, um, one thing, too, is all these people who claim to be Christian and hate Israel, you're not Christian. God says, I will bless those who are for my people, and I will curse you who are against my people. So if you're Christian, you have to love Israel. You don't have to, you know, be in love with the people, but you have to remember Israel is God's country, and uh, where is it? Where is it? Why can't I find things when I need it? Here we go. This is this is crazy. And, uh, you really, if you have an open mind, remember this was written 2,000 years ago, all right? And, uh, let me see if, if I pull up the other one. I think I made, yeah, this is more, more readable. Let me pull up the camera over here so you can see it for yourself. In fact, this is actually, it, it's, just remember, there, now this is Timothy, 2,000 years ago, and he's going to describe how things will be in the future. There will be terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, <coughs> disobedient to their parents ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, 
without self-control. Remember when Trump got elected and all these people were like, it was like, he's not my president. And they were going like nuts in how these libtards act. Brutal. Not lovers of the good. Treasure, treacherous. Rash. Conceited. Lovers of pleasure rather than the lovers of God. Having a form of godliness but denying its power. Have nothing to do with such people. All right. Um... There's more. They are kind who worm their way in the homes. Oh, they are the kind who worm their way into the homes and gain control over gullible women who, who are loaded down with sins and are swayed by all kinds of evil desires. Always learning but never able to come to a knowledge of the truth. I mean, this is written over 2,000 years ago. Um... It, it, it's insane. Um, like I was telling you about um, how God feels towards him. Uh, wait, here we go. Genesis, Adam and Eve. Let's bring this up. Now the Lord God hath formed out of the ground all the wild animals, all the birds in the skies. He brought them to the man to see what he would name them. All right. Um, where is this at? Oh, here we go. Uh, but for Adam, no suitable helper was found. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and closed up the place with flesh. And then the Lord God made a woman from the rib. All right, there you could go. He made man, then he made a woman. The man said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman. All right. So there's that. And uh, so, um, where's the beginning? Here we go. The book of Leviticus 18, verses 22, 29, 30. And this is 20, verse 22. Do not practice homosexuality. It is a detestable sin. Do you see it? It's right there, right in the Bible. Whoever does any of these detestable things will be cut off from the community of Israel. So be careful to obey my laws and do not practice any of these detestable activities. Do not defile yourselves by doing any of them, for I, the Lord, am your God. Leviticus, I don't know why I can't say it. Leviticus 19, verse 11 through 19. Do not steal. Do not cheat one another. Do not lie. Do not use my name to swear a falsehood and so profane the name of your God. You know, when you watch TV, how many times do they say Jesus Christ? I have to say his Lord. But um, uh, that I, when they do that, I, I have to turn, out, turn the program off. I used to watch It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, but they kept cursing using God's name. I had to stop watching the program. The program is hilarious. But they, why do you have to curse the Lord? Why do you have to say Jesus Christ all the time? All right? I, I, it's horrible. Do, oh, um, do not cheat or rob anyone. Always pay your hired workers promptly. Show your fear of God by treating the deaf with respect and by not taking advantage of the blind. I am the Lord. I mean, there's all this stuff in here. Always judge your neighbors fairly. Never favoring the poor nor showing... Uh, deference to the rich, all right? Do not spread slanderous gossip among your people. I mean, there's all this stuff, all right? Um, but we have gone, we've gone so far from this. Um, it, it, it's like insane. Um, you know, Timothy, uh, the dangers of the last day. 
and uh, which which he goes back and oh, this is uh, I've already read this to you, and uh, but you know this is what's crazy, and that this is why I'm talking to y'all today because you know I just watched the program I didn't know about it uh, apparently they uh something about a bomb in Carmela Harris all right well that's all fake I've just watched what's his name uh Bongiorno and he had videos and they had dogs and there was so much secret service around how the, how in the hell were they able to not find a so-called bomb it was planted I mean this this whole thing um about a fake bomb it, it's just insane and that's that's what they are this this life is they're like I don't know they're like a bunch of little monkeys running running around trying to get all the bananas and uh, and I think those who know see the evil that they are and uh, and that's the purpose of this video I want you all to be able to see this evil and maybe and we shouldn't maybe be so silent. You know what I mean? Because I personally, if you are silent, I understand. Because personally, my attitude, and this is, you know, if you're still watching me, all right? Because probably a lot of you might have tuned out or whatever, but um, I don't care what you do. You want to do, you want to run around, you want to sin, you want to do this, you want to have same sex, uh, whatever. Do what you want to do. I could care less. Long as it don't affect me. All right? Do whatever you want. I have no problem with that. Do I hate you? No. All right? I do not have hatred. All right? I hate sin. I have to say that. And, uh, but the, the thing is, is like, if you ask me, I'm going to give you my opinion. I'm going to say, you know, you shouldn't be doing all this stuff. You know, there's the end game. What's the end game? Getting into heaven. Well, A, if you haven't accepted Christ, it's a no-go. People say there are many roads to Christ. No, there's not. It's only one road. Um, if there was many roads to Christ, why did Christ let himself be beaten, tortured, and hung on a cross? If there was other ways, look at it that way. I mean, seriously, I mean, if God put his own son on the cross so we can get into heaven. You know, in the beginning, God said the wages of sin were death. All right, Old Testament. So if you sin, which everybody did, how are you going to get into heaven? All right, God had to find a way for people to get into heaven. God, well, God can't change his words. He can't reverse himself because he's God. All right. So he had to find a way. How, what did he do? He sent his own son in the flesh down. All right. To take the sins upon him. So we can get in heaven. Only through Christ can you see the kingdom of God. All right. I hope you get this. It's very important. And, uh, and you know, you might scoff and laugh at me. Look, oh, oh and during this time, God said, you will be laughed at and the scoffers will come. But that's on the Bible. Everything that's written in the Bible is coming true. And I'm like totally blown away from it because I've been studying Bible prophecy probably at least 30 years. All right. And um, what's crazy is the book of Revelations, it's like, it's actually like a program. Like if you go to an opera, they hand you a program and you see what's happening. This is going to happen, that, 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 you know. Uh, or I, I don't know, like a paper contents or whatever. Um, it's more like a program. If you understand the book of Revelations, it tells you exactly what's going to happen. And then actually it even tells you what's going to happen after the big events. All right. And I, it's, but it's all coming true. And, and, and as a Christian, you know, it's one thing to believe, but it's another thing to see. And like, you know, and it's just like, well, God was right all along. Well, you know, I don't want you to say, well, God was right all along when it's too late. Because there will be, there will come a time where it will, it will be too late. 
and uh, there's a thing called the seven year tribulation well if you're around for that the only way you can get to heaven is by denying the antichrist and you're going to pay with your life you'll be tortured and beheaded all right um Oh, uh, if you accept the if you accept the Antichrist and the mark his mark, um, you're done. There's no hope for you. So, this is my talk with you guys about life. All right. Um, I hope I made some sense to y'all. You know, um, I've been quiet. Um, you know, it's it's kind of it's kind of crazy for me to be a Christian in certain ways because um, I suffer from the duality of life, all right? You have your Christian life here, all right? Then you have your daily life here, all right? Then plus the daily life just beats you down. I mean, you know, for all the stuff I've been dealing with, I'm beat, beat down pretty good. So sometimes when you hear me talk, um, I'll say shit, or I'll say this, or I'll say that. That's just the way I talk. Um, I'm working on it. You know what I mean? I'm just, you know, a lot of people say, oh, Christians think they're holy or God. No, we're, we're the same as a non, non-believer. non We're the same people. The only difference is we accept the Christ, and we're trying. We're trying to be better than what we are. And, uh, you know, like, uh, but I'm not fake. You know, I my belief is 100%. You know, like when I go to church, I come out of church, I want a cigarette, I'll light up in front of everybody. You know what I mean? I'm sorry if my smoking offends you. Well, I'm not out there doing shots of uh, whiskey or whatever and doing this or doing that or doing what. This is my one vice, my smoke. Why? Because I'm a nervous wreck. And, uh, but, you know, but that's a duality, you know what I mean? So, you know, sometimes I, when I get mad, I cuss. I shouldn't, but I, I get mad. Before I was saved, I'm, I'm 100% Sicilian, all right? So I have that Sicilian temper. And God's done miracles with that, all right? So, but, you know, uh, that's one thing I, I wish I, had a better vocabulary, but that's the way life is. And every time I make a video, was, I need to start turning my phone on. And, uh, but that's the craziness of life. So I just ask you, don't fall for what the news is handing you. Get more educated and don't let the monkeys get your banana. That's basically... Uh, I just I, I see that I see what's going on you know uh, it's insane I, I just this is not the world I grew up in that's all I could say hope I hope I made some sense to y'all may God bless